Hey guys, what's up? It's Cell, and welcome to a game called Silver Line. Now, uh, this is the demo, um, because this game has not been fully released as, uh, that I know of. They currently have their Kickstarter open, and if you guys can go support this game, it would honestly mean so much to me, because, uh, some of my friends voice in this game, and I'm very excited, because... I love visual novels, and I love games where you can date bishi anime boys, so you know I, you know your girl's gonna play this, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, my a couple of my friends uh, voice in this game, and it's very exciting to see them um, voice in something so pretty, honestly. Uh, I've been seeing this around all the time, and I they really need back backers for the Kickstarter. I will... I will be backing the Kickstarter after I finish up this video, so yeah, if you guys can go donate just some money, um, that would honestly mean so much, uh, but if you can't, I understand, but you know, sharing the Kickstarter is just as helpful and it's free, so you know, you can also do that. Uh, so I'm gonna stop rambling and we're just gonna get straight into it, I can't wait to hear my boys and my girls let's go boys girls boys girls all right this is your story where every choice determines your fa okay choose it okay and watch everything unfold all right so we can choose between a boy and a girl which is very awesome in my opinion uh so i'm gonna choose a girl obviously because i am a girl uh and the name I always choose when I play Otome games or visual novels is Midori, so that's the theme we're gonna- Oh my god, why can't I type? Okay. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Alright. My hair dances against my face as the wind gently caresses my skin. Look at this beautiful UI in this background, oh my gosh. It's so soothing to be out here. I'm currently on an exp expedition. As a scholar, I was tasked with researching the behavioral patterns of the wildlife surrounding the capital. Okay, for some reason when I heard, when I read behavioral uh, patterns of wildlife, for some reason I went to trees, and I was like, do trees have behaviors? But no, animals, obviously, like, come on. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Alright, well, uh, uh, says fall is coming so many of the feral creatures have already withdrawn or migrated i haven't seen many of them during my past few missions i'm pretty much done with my work so i can afford to take a break a little shut eye never hurts anybody <laughs> famous last words <laughs> hey no slacking off you better finish your groundwork oh I think I know who that is! Oh, this is so exciting! Here, hold on, let me see if I can... Alright, I think I know who that is. My eyes opened from the sudden interruption. I'd know that voice anywhere. So would I! Oh my god. Whoa, whoa there! That's way too close. Haven't you heard of a little something called personal space? Look at him. Oh my god, he's so beautiful. Had to make sure you weren't dead. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I've, I've um, seen Dath uh, talk about him a lot, so yeah. Uh, yeah. He's also in um, the prologue for Phantom's Calling. He's at the mystery VA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You always mess with me whenever there's a chance. And for your information, I am already done with part of my report. I grew up with Lucas, and he never let a good opportunity slip by. Okay, so he's the childhood friend. Alright. Even when we were kids, he was always looking for an opportunity to, uh, to pull one of his pranks. As you uh, watch me fumble across my words, you'll realize that I can't speak, so... Guilty as charged. Read. Okay, guilty as charged. Anyway, I finished up my part as well. We should hurry up and report back before sundown. You can hear the chorus on his voice. After you, my lady. Um, 
and me and oh I'm trying not to fangirl too much because it's a little weird the town is bustling there's never a quiet mommy mommy oh my god that doesn't say mommy the town is bustling there's never a quiet moment in the city of Lucrin. Lucrin? I don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> from the <laughs> I can't read from the chatter of merchants Bantering to the delightful squeals of children from every corner. The city is never devoid of life Dude if I like I used to be in a such an otome like visual novel phase when I was younger uh, This would have been on my list to play or I would have already played it Lucas and I grew up in the city. I know this place like the palm of my hand But even so I could never tire of Lucarin's charm as much as I enjoyed the air and the outskirts of the city, I feel I still feel much more comfortable back in my own turf. Have you heard? The queen is due any day now. Yeah, the entire town is excited for the the arrival of of the royal baby. Why can't I speak? You can practically smell the excitement in the air. No kidding. Not that I'm complaining. The excitement is pretty contagious. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna try to not take that out of context. We people of Lucarin have been waiting patiently for an heir to our Majesty's legacy. However, fate hasn't been kind to our queen. She has su had suffered a miscarriage. Oh, that's so sad. And had been having a hard time conceiving. Oh, I hate that. The country has been waiting almost two decades for the arrival of an heir. Anybody would be excited after waiting that long, yet I can't help but worry about the queen. Can you imagine everyone depending on you to provide the sole heir to the royal bloodline? Uh, no, I can't. Uh, I live in America. Jeez, talk about pressure. Hey, aren't those your new disciples? Lucas points, points to a trio of teenagers dressed in robes similar to mine. He isn't wrong, they are indeed my students. How old am I? I look like I'm... A teenager but I guess I'm a teacher this the group of new disciples bows shyly despite being much younger there's a child anyway despite being much younger than the average scholar okay well then I guess I'm not that old I hold a rather intimidating rank you're back early today I hope you had a pleasant expedition Lady Midori, you're back early today okay I don't know why I read that no need to be so formal we're, we're not in the we are not within the castle walls right now. Uh, of course. She is nervous, very nervous. I won't bite. She doesn't need to be so scared. I wouldn't want to be taking any more of your time. I'll be on my way. She bows again and hurries off with her per with her with her what? I wasn't paying it. Wait. Huh? Oh my god. With her posse. Okay. I am still getting used to my position as a tutor. The biggest challenge for me is trying to be relatable to my students. I don't think you need to be relatable, but okay. Everyone is still nervous around, uh, around me because of my seniority. Though to tell the truth, I myself am, an, am no different. Even after working for the Crown for years, the thought of reporting back to Captain Gilbert, my senior, still makes me anxious. So, how does it feel to be a senior now? Bet you're enjoying all that respect and glory. Oh my god. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> so proud. This is also so weird. The moment I hear my own voice in the game is when I, you know, I jump out a window. Heck, even I'm envious. You know me. I don't think I could ever get used to that. Formalities just aren't my thing, you know? Even so, that hasn't stopped you from rising up the ranks. The youngest inquisitor. It brings tears to my eyes knowing that you're so grown up now. I chuckle at Lucas's words. He isn't wrong. I am indeed the youngest scholar to have acquired an Inquisitor's license. How old am I? This means I am qualified to teach and move and mold our young generation and tasked with making sure they learn everything there is to know about Lucaren. Lucaren, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> you haven't done half bad yourself. You don't often hear about someone who was born into a noble family being recruited into the knight's rank. Ooh! Compliment war! Is that your way of saying how amazing I am? Because if it is, I'll take it. That is so... Mm, that is so... Mm, that is so cute! Oh my god, the art is so good. His face lights up glee... Uh, his face lights up glee filling his eyes. I smile. Don't get used to it. Or, don't get used to it. 
la la la, I'm a tsundere. The castle sits in the heart of the city, so it isn't long before we reached our destination. Ah, home sweet home. I stretch out my arms and sigh. It's good to be back at the castle. Over the years, I had come to call this place my home. Ever since I started studying as an imperial scholar, I can't believe it's already been a decade. I've dedicated half my life to the crown. Dang, half your life? Oof. I can't even... That would suck. <laughs> I know, insightful commentary. Scholars are generally historians of Lucarine. We document and man maintain... Oh my god! Why can't I speak? We document and... This is how it is when I record lines too. I'm like... This is the same, it's the same exact way. I can't speak, and I have to do the line like 30 times. We document and main- Oh my god, I, I did it again. We document and maintain information regarding anything, and I mean anything. There is- There is- Anything there is to know about the kingdom. Alright. <laughs> I could even tell you every single plant found within our walls. Not that everyone- Not that anyone would ever ask such a thing. Plants growing in- Growing in walls? Haha. <laughs> Okay, if there's ever anything on- If there's anything- <laughs> Oh, I make the stupidest jokes. If there's anything- If there's ever anything odd or obscure- Now I'm just trying to mess up reading, oh my god. If there's any- oh, No, no, no. If there's ever anything odd or obscure that you need to know, no matter how trivial, a scholar likely holds the answer you seek. I'm sorry, I can't read. Sure, being an imperial scholar sure has its perks. Three meals a day, a warm bed to come home to. Not to mention we get paid quite well. What more can a girl ask for? But things weren't always like this. Before my lucky break, no, before our our lucky break. Our? Oh, back in the day, Lucas and I grew up in the sl Ooh, hello? Okay, <laughs> back in the day, Lucas and I grew up in the slums together. Thick as two thieves, even now. I can still remember the horrors we had to endure just trying to get by each day. That sounds awful. It wasn't until King Edward's miraculous visit that our talents were discovered. He saved me, and I owe him my gratitude. There you go with that blank look again. What's going on in that head of yours, anyway? Lunch? Dinner? <laughs> just reminiscing. I don't think I'll ever get... Uh, I don't think I'll ever get over... Uh, I don't think I'll ever get over how lucky we are. I am truly grateful for the mo for every moment of my life so far. I wouldn't change anything, even if I had the chance. Yeah, I get what you mean. Sometimes I still wonder if I'll wake up one day and find out it was all just a dream. Anyway, we should report to the captain. The sooner we're done with today's duties, the sooner we can relax. I shudder at the thought of seeing the captain. Oh, bye. Back so soon? I can assume there isn't anything out of the ordinary then. Oh wait, I know that I know that voice too. <laughs> uh, oh boy. I was about to be like, oh that's a deep ass voice, but then I'm like, oh wait, I know who that is. The captain's the captain's stoic expression makes me even more nervous. And he want, he's one of the bonus roots guys, so if you wanna uh, date him, uh, go support the Kickstarter, I think. I don't know much- I don't know much about the project so far, but go support the Kickstarter. Reporting to him always feels like I'm at an, ex at an exam I didn't study for. He has that an intense effect on people. Your mind goes blank from nerves. Yes, sir. The wildlife seems to have become more passive over the past few weeks. We haven't encountered any threats on the merchant's route, nor on the hill path. All right. Have you encountered anything unusual in your end? Midori. <laughs> Come on, man, that's my name, you gotta say it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> From what I have gathered, there are no apparent changes with reporting. Understood. You're dismissed. As for you, Nurse Estelle is looking for you. <gasps> you should go see her once you have settled in. Ooh, Nurse Estelle? I wanna see Nurse Estelle. Nurse Estelle? Off the top of my head, I could think of only one reason like, sh why she'd request me in particular. She needed her fix, more specifically her tea fix. Ha! Bitch made. She's obsessed with tea. Another perk. Another perk of being scholars that I get an unlimited supply of foreign goods delivered to my workroom. It's all part of the job. Who better to monitor the quality of imported goods? Are you sure you're a scholar and not a servant? <laughs> I better make sure I or like an assistant. I better. 
<laughs> make sure I pick some up before meeting up with her. I stretched my arms out and flopped onto my bed. It's great to be home again. As much as I love my job, nothing beats relaxing at the end of the day. Or at the end of a day. I let out a yawn, since Lucas has so graciously interrupted my nap time. Uh, since Lucas so graciously interrupted my nap time, I should take a quick cat nap before seeing Estelle. T can wait. I want to see Estelle, because I know that voice actor too. Wait, what time is it? Judging from the lack of sunlight peeking through the window, I must have slept for more than five hours. Me. I start. Uh, I walk straight to a box containing a number of imported, imported teas. Though there are many delightful v varieties, more than any other kind, Estelle loves jasmine tea because of its light and floral aroma. After filling a pouch with a generous amount of the loose leaves, I leave the room and head over to meet Estelle. This should do it. Oh, I accidentally skipped the dialogue. Nurse Estelle, did you need me for something? Ah, oh, you're here! I've been waiting forever! Hi. Hi, Vince. Did you bring the good stuff? It sounds like we're smuggling drugs. I hit the nail right on the head. I knew she was looking for more tea drugs. Um, <laughs> I just happened to be the only scholar willing to share. You're the best! I knew I could count on you! Her eyes sparkle at the at the sight of the pouch, like a cat who spotted a silver vine. Nurse Estelle, come quickly! The queen, the queen is in labor. Already? Jesus. <laughs> the queen is in labor. <laughs> uh, she's like a comedic character, isn't she? Um, if you guys don't know, this is Nate Peach, um, aka Esty, aka Asora, and Kyoshi. Estelle is startled to the point of almost dropping her tea. Almost, wouldn't want to drop the drugs. She immediately- <sighs> This shouldn't be happening now, she just of all times. The screen. I was sure it was going to be on the third moon cycle. Okay, she's a little crazy. That's fine though. The poor nurse seems to have forgotten I'm even here, but since I'm already, I'm here already, might as well offer to help. Um, is there anything I can help with? Yes, can you inform his royal highness? Shouldn't I inform one of his attendants instead? Uh, there's no time! The king needs to know now! Okay. Demanding a direct audience to the king isn't exactly within my jurisdiction. But Estelle storms out of the infirmary with the queen's attendant before I even have the chance to tell her. I sigh. Guess I'll have to try. Right, okay. I think we're gonna get in trouble or something. I don't know. As I turn into the hallway, I notice that it feels emptier than usual. Oh god, is this a horror game? That's odd. Usually there would be at least a few royal guards stationed here. Maybe luck is on my side today, after all. I can just sweep into the into the room hassle-free. Wait. I can hear soft voices coming from the door. The king must be attending to someone right now. I should wait until they're finished with their business. Captain, please. You do not wish to do this. I have no choice. Why did I read that? <laughs> What's going on here? A dispute? Though I, I know deep down that, that it's wrong to eavesdrop, I can't help but sneak a little closer. The voices become even softer. I place my right ear against the surface of the grand mahogany door, hoping to hear more. Oh yeah, so here's another thing about this game, is that we actually play as a side character, and you know how most stories have the protagonist being like the main character the main focus we're actually like a side character and not really an important focus even though you know we play as that person so it's kind of interesting uh seeing the new like perspective i can't help but be curious you can already tell that like sh uh that the main character is like kind of being ignored by everybody or especially by the nurse Estelle you know she's kind of they're kind of being disregarded so it kind of makes it feel for like is that how the side characters feel in stories you know I can't help but be curious ah! unfortunately the door hadn't been closed properly well folk. I guess I laid too much pressure on its frame as the door suddenly burst open and I'm sent tumbling into the chamber long live the king oh my god what the Heck? Oh, Gilbert, what did you- uh, Oh my dear god, he just killed him. Let me save. I don't want him killing me. 
Warm liquid greets me. Warm red liquid greets me. The thick fluid is splattered across my body and my face, yet I barely even notice. I am frozen in shock by the sight that is laid out before me. Oh, dear lord. Standing inches away from me is Captain Gilbert, his blade unsheathed and his body bathed in the blood of King Edward. <laughs> oh my Jesus. His crimson eyes shine in the moonlight, almost as if they are glowing. His usually sleek hair is disheveled. Beside him is the limp body of the king, silent and still. Oh my god, he did. The scene playing out in front of me uh, leaves me petrified. S sir My voice croaks, barely audible in terror. This is all a bad dream. I'm going to wake up soon, any minute now. But, I, but try as I may, I'm not snapping out of this nightmare anytime soon. This is not a dream. The king is How dead. How unfortunate. You were at the wrong place at the wrong no, time. No, don't kill me. You better not kill me. You, you killed King Edward. These are the words that managed to escape my dry mouth. My mouth is dry in real life, so I guess it works. I have so many questions floating through my mind, but this is all I am able to say. How odd. Because from where I stand, you killed him. What? Excuse me? Oh, he's gonna frame me. Oh, you little... <laughs> I can't believe my ears. It's as if time is frozen, my grasp of reality waning. Even the ground beneath my feet liquefies. My, pure, my perfect world is crumbling right in front of me, and there is nothing I can do. Even so, as much as I want this to be some terrible joke, deep down I understood the intentions behind Gilbert's words. You evil mother... Ugh. I will become the captain's scapegoat. I will be accused of her king's murder! Run. My instincts beckon me to run. There is no hope of maintaining my peaceful, happy life if I stay here. So, I run. Run! Run, run, run. I finally stop, bar barely able to catch my breath. There is nowhere to run, and I already hear the castle guards searching for me. Word, sir word sure travels fast. Well, yeah, if she was like a side character, then everybody would be already be like accusing her. Like, oh, yep, you're definitely the killer. The whole castle is on high alert, because, you know, usually main characters have plot armor. Looking for the person responsible for King Edward's death. No one will believe my words over those of Captain Gilbert. There is a guard approaching nearby, blocking my escape. Damn, they're going to find me! All clear here! I don't see her in the West Wing. Oh my god, he's looking- Oh, you backstabber! His facade drops when the guard is out of sight. His voice is barely a whisper. Hey, what's going on? I've been given an official order to detain you. Oh, okay. He's not a backstabber. I just was quick to assume. Alright, whatever. This is serious. What happened? Is it true? The king. Dude, he reminds me a bit of Krom, which is great because I love Krom. Uh, what? Oh, it wasn't me. You have to believe me. Yes. Oh crap, I don't know. Yes, or it wasn't me. Yes, or it wasn't me. I'm gonna say yes, because like, this one kind of makes it seem like we're trying to lie to him or something. Yes, the king is dead. There's no point in trying to explain. He wouldn't believe me. Nobody is going to believe me that the captain of the, of the guard killed the king. There's something more going on here, right? I don't believe this nonsense. I wouldn't do something like that. It's just not possible. Let's get you out of here. There has to be a logical explanation. Dude, when I first met Dad, I fangirled, and now I'm gonna fangirl again when I talk to him next. That's great. Lay low in the outskirts of the city until things calm down. We should be able to get there without a problem once we escape the castle. Sure. Thank you. How can you still trust me? You shouldn't associate yourself with me. <laughs> um, I'd- well, I mean, in this situation, I'd just probably be like, thank you. Or I'd be like, I don't know if you can- how can you still trust me? That's probably what I'd say. So we're just gonna go with that. How can you still trust me after hearing that? I don't know. Call it intuition? I don't believe you're capable of treason. Especially against King Edward. You. Oh. Wind. <laughs> that voice sent ch chills down my spine. It's over. They found us. 
There is a storm of heavy footsteps as a guard, as guards enter, uh, as guards gather in mere seconds. We are surrounded by the royal guards. There's no longer any hope of escaping. Well, well. This turned out even better than I anticipated. Killing two birds with one stone. Oh God, the royal advisor. He could be in danger as well. I need to warn him. Warn him? Yes. I need to warn him about Captain Gilbert. Even if he doesn't believe me, I still have to try. Be careful, sir. Captain Gilbert. He is the one who murdered King Edward. Lucas freezes, freezes in horror. Captain Gilbert is, is the man he admires most. Well, that just sucks. I'm gonna save here because I don't know if I made the right choices. Why, yes. I believe you are correct. After all... I orchestrated the murder. Okay, that's not the response I was expecting. Everything suddenly clicks. The advisor was the mastermind behind the plan all along. It's dang it, Rampa! The master- <laughs> The advisor is the king's older brother and he intends to steal the throne. But that would mean the queen and her baby. The queen, what did you do to her? Looks like they were correct when they praised your intelligence. You figured out my motive in mere seconds. I like his voice too. I am afraid for my plan to succeed, both her and her newborn son. Well, you. <gasps> oh my ready. god, did you really kill them? I'm gonna kill you. A son. The queen gave birth to a son. We finally had an heir to the throne, and he's How been. How could you be so heartless? He's your brother! Oh my god, this game is already making me emotional, and I've only been playing for like 30 minutes. What the. Oh my. You, oh, that makes me so mad. How could you kill a child, like a baby, like a newborn? Oh my god. Our king! Yeah, that's right, Death. I mean, oh, Lucas. Lucas, if you only knew, you would resent what my brother has done. He lets out a hollow laugh. He's mocking the king, almost as if he, per he is purposely egging Lucas on. Why would the king pick up an abandoned child and bring him back to the capital? Did you honestly believe he was just taking a stroll in the slums when he happened to find you? A dead man need hear no more. You evil person. <laughs> it's clear that he does not intend on letting us leave this palace alive. Well then run! Why are you still thinking? You better run! Also, I like how the color schemes of Lucas and Midori are, like, uh, complimentary. <laughs> and them two, as well. Uh, Gilbert and, and Lucas. Okay. His crimson eyes are as cold as the blade he carries. But I was just getting to the good part. Lucas. King Edward is your father. Uh-huh. Me? Him? Wait, who? If this is your idea of a sick joke, you're disgusting. Oh, those green eyes. They're just the right shade. Lucas is the son of the king? Is that what a they're saying? A carbon copy of my late brother's. Oh, okay, yeah. He just had to bring you back, didn't he? Well... He felt so guilty about abandoning his illegitimate child that oh. he even brought back his little friend to accompany him. Dear God. There's so much happening. It's been like 30 minutes. What in the world? Uh, I... That can't be true. He's just trying to get into your head. Don't let him fool you! The possibility of him being the illegit illegitimate son isn't zero. I know that, yet I refuse to believe that there is any truth to that story. I love Lucas. Can I date him now? But, but, but maybe I just... <laughs> Maybe I just, maybe I just, I don't, all right, <laughs> want to see, want to see what has always been right in front of my eyes. Our captain here knows the truth. Ask him. Why would I trust him after he just murdered the king? Sir Harrison urges us to probe Gilbert for an answer. I won't trust a word out of that man's mouth. Yeah, exactly. Nothing he said holds, says holds the weight that it once did. Captain, no. Gilbert, why am I here? Reluctant Gilbert answers. There would be no reason for him to allow a child of your background to become a knight other than sentiment. You are his son. 
<laughs> I don't know why I literally said I wouldn't trust him, but like just hearing that is like, oh well, I guess it's true. Lucas falls to his knees, his head crushed tightly in his hands. This is too much for him. Finding out who his true father is only after he had to say that sucks. <laughs> Uh, not only is Lucas himself part of the royal bloodline, he's now the only one left. He finally found- oh, so they're gonna try to kill him next, right? He finally found the family he's, he'd always dreamed about, only to be left broken and despaired. The advisor lets out a demonic laugh. <laughs> there is no need to grieve. Everything is as it should be. I hate you. It should have been me sitting on that throne, not Edward. Now, get rid of him. I do not wish to see those eyes ever again. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't. Gilbert moves in to, in to sever the loose ends of this horrible plot. And in this case, the loose ends are Lucas and me. Me! I did nothing. I, I didn't see nothing. Uh, crap. Me being a witness. Me being a witness and Lucas being a potential heir. Are you gonna tell me that no one else saw what happened? Okay, whatever. Lucas is too distraught to even respond. If I don't do something, he's going to die. I have to make a choice now. No, 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 safe. Safe, safe, safe. Safe, okay. I couldn't move. I can't bear the sight of what is happening. Lucas is going to get killed just like King Edward. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Okay, oh. Okay. The sudden sound of shattering glass catches all of our attention. A mysterious figure sweeps in with her hand reaching out to me. This is really, really loud. Uh, can I... Okay, this is really loud. Wait, wait. Come with me if you want to move. That music's really loud, but whatever. We run and run for what feels like an eternity before finally stopping to take a break. I'm once again out of breath. That was way too much running for a scholar like me. Lucas, on the other hand, seemed like he didn't even break a sweat. We managed to escape the castle. Everything keeps happening so fast, I don't know what to think. We owe it all to the one, to the particular, okay, what happened? Did she just show up and they were like, oh, run away. We owe it all to the peculiar stranger in front of us, the, the one who literally dragged us from the lion's den all the way to safety. We escaped by jumping through the window. Oh, okay. None of the guards were reckless enough to follow us. It was either jump or die by, Gil jump or die by Gilbert's blade. To be honest, it was a miracle we survived. How far did we jump from? Whatever. Fortunately, our saver appears to be a skilled shinobi. What is a shinobi? With their help, we managed to flee into the streets of the city. Lucas hasn't spoken a word. I bet he's still confused about the whole situation. I don't know what to say to him. This should be far enough. We don't need to be so hasty from here onwards. Confront our savior? Worry about Lucas? I'm gonna worry about Lucas. I can't help but worry about Lucas. Even when he's upset, he would always find a way to make light of the situation. But not, at, not this time. I had never seen him like this before. Lucas, I'm here. You aren't alone. Don't worry about me yet. We're still not out of the oven. The oven? He smiles weakly, trying his best to reassure me. That's the Lucas I know. No matter how despaired he might be, he always tries to be strong for those around him. You're right. We need to figure out what to do next. As much as I want to wait till he's more stable, he's right. We need to move. To tur I turn to our knight in shining armor. Who is she? Can we really trust her? Then, as if she could read my mind... They call me Kitsune. Kitsune? So the rumors are true. You do exist. The assassin who targets the nobles and officials of Lucarine. Lucarine. Okay, thank you, Death. The name sparkles something in Lucas. Kitsune is a notorious, notorious figure who, tar who targets noble families and servants of the crown. Even now, no one knows the, her true motives. Her name is one we know too well from the list of the kingdom's most wanted criminals. Mm-hmm. That's the one. If Lucas is right about Kitsune, why would she have helped us? What could she have- what could she possibly stand to gain? Maybe she's not evil like we all think. She wouldn't just help people like us for no reason. After all, we ourselves had been serving the crown. If anything, we'd be easy targets. 
Kitsune sighs and crosses her arms. <sighs> Listen, if what that bastard said is true, then you know they won't stop until we're dead. I don't usually do this, but I'll make you an offer. Not to brag, but I'm pretty good at this whole stealth thing. I can easily get you guys out of the city. And what's the catch? You know that we have nothing to offer in return. And how do we know we can even trust you? What if you lead us into some shady alleyway and decide to harvest our organs for some quick gold? You're the Kitsune, for God's sake! There's no way we're trusting you! That's a good point. But what about you? Oh, I, I feel a choice coming along. Can you trust me? She's way too suspicious, there's no reason not to. She's way too susp- well... I mean, she did save us. Uh, I feel like she'll kill us if I say there's- She's too suspicious. But I also want to be on Lucas's side, so I'm gonna say she's way too suspicious. She's way too suspicious. She's wearing a mask, but her identity completely hidden. We can't trust her. Sorry, we just can't trust you right now. If you can't trust us enough to show your face, how can we know you won't turn on us? How do we know you're even really Kitsune? Anyone can wear a mask. Exactly. Sorry, but right now, it's going to take a lot for us to trust anyone. Ouch. That hurts a little. Yes, I definitely saw them heading this way. Whomstuf. Damn, they'll find us! The offer still stands. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. What do we owe you? <laughs> uh, we're one in the same. We can talk later. For now, just do as I say and we'll be out of here before you know it. And they're just gonna be like, well, you owe me your life. <laughs> I never knew there were tunnels under this city. Tunnel? Tunnelberg? Oh, incredible. Why is he saying it as if it's like, he's like seeing a mountainscape for the first time. He's like, how incredible. But like, it's just a tunnel under the, or tunnels under the city. Like what? Okay. But since it was never debunked or proven, I had always dismissed the notion- dismissed the notion entirely. These are- uh, there are ancient archives that hint at their existence, but no solid- existence, but no solid evidence was ever found. To see it with my own eyes felt like- felt almost like crossing something off my bucket list. Even if you had known, you wouldn't have been able to navigate your way through them on your own with- with your- with your sense of direction. Ha, huh, got him. Oh, I'm trying to freaking save. Okay. This might be how she. Uh, there must. This must be how she's getting in and out of Lucarine, and how she's never been caught. Hey, like your sense of direction is any better? Anyway, I'm just glad we're finally out of the city. Not quite yet. As Kitsune interrupts, we freeze in our tracks. Guards are standing by at the city gate, and not just a few of them either. They sure aren't wasting any resources in their hunt for the king and. Okay, yeah. For the king and queen's alleged killers. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Kitsune crosses her arm in thought. I guess we could always use the dirt path a lot. Wait. Oh, that won't do. It's too dangerous to cut through the forest at this hour. I glance over to Lucas. He's shaking, but even so, he shoots back a weak smile. While Kitsune is distracted, he leans close and whispers. Hey, I. Whatever happens... I'm glad I was able to meet someone like you. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> this is so weird. Like, I can't. Ah, it's so weird. Because, like, obviously, all I see, all I'm thinking is just death. And it's like, but, you know, it's a character. So, like, Lucas. Sure, I love you. Okay, uh, we're not dead yet. I'm glad to. I'm glad to. I'm glad to have met you too, Lucas. I'm sure Kutsune will figure something out. We'll be out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. We don't have I much of a right. choice. We'll have to lay low in the forest. But without proper supplies, I don't know if we'll even last the night. What about hiding in the underground tunnels? Surely we wouldn't be found there, and we wouldn't need to worry about wild beasts. If you wish to leave the city, the time is now. Why? There is no point waiting for daybreak. Unless... I think I know a way. Follow me. Oh my dear god. Only the faint sound of running water fills the still air. Hours have gone by, my feet are sore and my stomach's rumbling, as layers of sweat make me shiver in the cold night air. All I can think about is how much I'd love to return home to my warm bed. Well, you can't go back now. 
I'd gotten so comfortable with my new life that I'd forgotten how it feels to endure hardships like this. None of us make even the slightest complaint. We all understand how dire our current situation is. Lucas, he has it even worse than I do. To be told that he was the king, that he was King's King Edward's son all along, only to be thrown aside like some street rat after the execution of his entire family, must be absolutely heartbreaking. That just one sentence is just like, whoa, crap. How is he so like, okay? He's just like, eh, eh I, I, I'm glad to have some, met someone like you, like what? But then again, maybe I should give him some space. There's also Kitsune. I, I'd still like to learn more about her. Talk to Lu talk to who do you think I'm gonna talk to? I take a deep breath and decide to finally break the silence. How are you holding up? He smiles. How? <laughs> You're still worried about me, even though you have it even worse than I do. Well, I have it worse than you do. Your whole family was just killed, but okay. You were framed for the crime after witnessing the king's murder. Are you okay? I'm much stronger than you. You think. don't have to keep a strong face in front of me. Just depend on me too sometimes. Okay? Oh, okay. Even in this devastating turn of events, I am grateful to have Lucas here with me. The king's son, eh? Is that really why he visited the slums that day? Did he feel guilty about leaving me? Does he even know what I've been through? Oh boy, here it comes. His emotions are in tor turmoil, no longer able to hold them back. It pains me to see my closest friend- Friend? Whoa! Friend zone! Okay, in such a state. <laughs> there must be a reason, something we don't know. I try to help him make sense of what he's, what's going on. I know that. I just can't help feeling... lost. I understand how he feels. The feeling of losing everything in mere seconds and being left not, to kn not knowing what to do. There's a story there. Oh, and are we... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, a cold breeze blows past us, barely brushing the surface of my skin as I notice a twinkle of sapphire shining nearby. It feels almost magical. I gaze in awe at the luminescent stones. That is a huge stone. Stones lining the riverbank before being jolted back to reality by the realization of where we are. This is the Crystal Forest. I know this place! We can't be here! The panic in my voice is audible. Kitsune is guiding us right into Kimaria, Kimaria, Kimaria territory. So much for trusting her. Kimaria is a tribe of demi-humans east of Lucarin, and they strictly refuse to associate themselves with, selves with humans at all. Okay, that's not good. Demi-humans. Half, half human, half what? Okay, it is forbidden for us to even to enter the territory. Even I have never seen a Kimara, Kimaria, and I'm supposed to know everything. This is the only way to get to the sea without detection. We just have to make sure we're not seen. So she's taking us to a sea port. As much as I hate to admit it, passing through the Crystal Forest is definitely the fastest way to get there, especially on foot. But even so... This is your plan? You're going to get us all killed! It's almost daybreak. Passing through the forest conv covertly would be impossible. We're bound to be seen. Kitsune, however, seems indifferent. We don't have much of a choice. Here's a trick. Walk heel to toe. Gently and slowly. Heel to toe? Okay, whatever. But before we even have the chance to try... Oh no, we're dead. Who goes there? Hello? <laughs> the back <laughs> the hair on the back of my neck stands up as a chill runs through my entire body. We're busted. <laughs> Trespassing into the demi-human territory never ends well. Rarely anyone lives to tell the tale. Apparently Kitsune does. A tall figure steps out from the shadows, silver making silver markings visible all over her body. Her almost distinguishing features feature is her ears, halfway between feline and the poor eyed we're gonna pretend that I knew how to pronounce that. She does not look happy. Humans, do you not know how to honor the treaty? Uh, nope, I don't. <laughs> I knew their intelligence level was primitive, but to actually see them trespassing is something I did not anticipate. It's me, primitive. You're the one covered in body paint and ca with ha with cat ears. The demi-human mumbles to herself. We caught her by surprise. 
She doesn't really sound that distressed. No one else would be stupid enough to even attempt crossing crossing. Guardian, I demand that you state your business before I hand you over to the authorities. She's going to turn us in. I think there must be a way out of this. Oh, look over to Lucas. Look, look. I have a plan. What plan? Let's uh, Kitsune handle it. Look over to Lucas. Well, prob we should probably let Kitsune handle it. She seems to know what she's doing. Kitsune led us here, so surely yes, she must have picked up some trick up her sleeve to get him out of you here. You see that boy over there? He's actually the crown prince of Lucaran. She nod. She nod at us, confident that her words will ensure our safety. Is this true? Are you really the prince? She eyes Lucas with caution and suspicion. Lucas frowns and looks around nervously. No, I. I cover his mouth. <laughs> I cover his mouth, much to his protest. He's going to compromise Kitsune's plan. I assure you, he most definitely is. We are on our way to Osea for an important meeting. It is a meeting urgent of a meeting of an urgent importance. You would not wish to delay us, would you? The Kimara might be known for their brutality, but they would rather prevent any tension between Lucarine and their tribe. The Guardian frowns deep in thought, her lips per uh, her lips purse as she deliberates the best course of action. I cross my fingers. Please work. Seeing as you are the crown prince of Lucarine, I shall pardon you for the sake of maintaining peaceful relations between our people. There is no need to alarm the Oracle. Oracle? To be certain nothing goes awry, I will see to it personally that you get to Osea. Okay, cool. This is as far as I will leave you. For your sake, I hope we never meet again. Well, screw you too. Why do I have a feeling that was for, that was meant for me? Me? What did I do? I did nothing. I literally did nothing. So, well, I covered his mouth while he was trying to deny. All right, whatever. I, I see now. Sometimes I wonder if Lady Luck may actually be on my side. We managed to travel the rest of the way to Osea without any hiccups, despite crossing through demi-human territory. I thought I was going to lose an arm or a leg, payment to cross the Kimara border. But n not only am I unharmed, the Guardian himself even saw us to save This is your first time outside of Lucarine, isn't it? Yeah, I nod. Nah, it's not that I ever never wanted to explore outside the castle walls, I just never had the time with how invested I was in my work. Osea is a small port town not far from our borders, so Lucas has, li so Lucas has likely been here before. And they sure didn't waste any time. Look, you two are famous now. Congratulations. Kitsune points at it, two posters fixed to the wall. Sure enough, there were drawings of me and Lucas on each wall. Well, that sucks. Um, alright. Wanted dead or alive. All right. Hey, not bad. They did a pretty good job on your profile, wouldn't you say? Really? Also, that's not a profile. It's... Okay, you know what? Lucas is slowly returning to his old self. It's a relief to see that his, un his unusual humor making a reappearance. So what's next? We definitely can't stay in the country they won't spare any resources trying to track us down well we should be safe here for a while while there's missing or wanted posters of us okay whatever suddenly Kitsune removes her oh hello removes her mask she doesn't seem too bothered by the fact that her secret is out despite being surrounded by townsfolk maybe she's more welcome there wait you're just taking it off it's even more suspicious if I keep it on Anyone with eyes can see there's something weird about someone wearing a mask. I mean, yes, but... I kind of just assumed that your identity would need to be kept... You know... Secret for a reason. Will you have to get rid of us now that we know what you look like? The thought can't help but make me nervous. Now that we know who the real Kitsune is, wouldn't that make us a threat? We don't... Is that even her real name? Great, another reason for my life to be at stake. I may have to c dedicated my life to the pursuit of knowledge, but I sh could sure live without knowing all these dangerous secrets that keep putting my life at risk. Mm -hmm. Nah, we're a team now. No need for something so morbid. Okay, sure, whatever you say. Who would have thought? Kitsune isn't as terrifying as the stories say. If I may be so bold, she's even a lot prettier than I, <laughs> bro, than I had imagined. <laughs> By I the mean, way, why are you still helping us? I mean, you probably imagine like some like crazy criminal or something. I still haven't gotten my reward. Okay. Plus, I feel partially responsible. 
That trap was meant for me. Trap. I was supposed to be your scapegoat. Oh. And you're saying this now? This is why we can't trust you. It's not like she knew. Hey, I'm trying to make up for it. That's why I'm still here. I could have just ditched you guys and move on. But there's still something you want from us. That's why you stay. Well, that's half the truth. We can continue this conversation in private. There's a nearby ink where we can rest. I freaking knew it was gonna be an inn. Now that we're finally away from prying eyes, I can afford to relax a bit. It still makes me somewhat uncomfortable knowing that I'm in Kitsune's debt. I still don't know what her motives are. So what's your price for helping us? You said we'd discuss it later. I'm just looking for information. You guys appear to be quite high up in the ranks. You must have valuable intel. Have you heard of the Rose of Sangrila? I can't say that I have. Why do you ask? A girl has her reasons. That's all I wanted to know. Now, what are your plans? That's all she wanted? I know there must be more to it than that, but I decided to push the thought that thought to the back of my head for now. What's important is that we still need her assistance. Having never been out of the city of the royal city, I have no idea what I, where I am or what to do. The logical course of action here would be to leave the country and start over somewhere far from here. Yeah, probably. Osea is a port town. With proper documents, she and I can get out of here. My name's Midori Dad, you can just say it. <laughs> Lucas beat me to it. He had the same idea. To I'm gonna make him re-say all these lines, but with Midori instead. Um... He'll be like, no. <laughs> uh, anyway, Lucas beat me to it. He had the same idea I did. That's the plan? Alright then, let's set it in motion. I think I know where we can find these documents you're looking for. Okay, and so, uh, now that we've gotten to the city, and a ton of stuff has escalated, escalated, oh my god, escalated, I'm going to end this episode of this here. I did not expect it to be so long, which is actually very exciting. I love that it's pretty long. Uh, I'll probably make another video of it, and be sure to check the Kickstarter for this game below, and it really needs to get funded, okay guys? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Zell, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!